This is lesson number six in a crash course in movable guitar chords. It's completely free, and you can download the free first movable guitar chords booklet from my website. I'll leave a link in the description. We're on page seven of the first movable guitar chords booklet. We've been combining our movable major, minor, and dominant seven shapes into single songs, and in this lesson, we're gonna look at the chords for summertime. Remember, this is a crash course. To really get these chords under your fingers, you need to play them as often as possible. One really good way to do that is to play songs you already know, but play them with movable chords, even when you can play them as open chords. At the top of page seven, we have the chords for Slumber Time. This is really summertime, but I'm calling it Slumber Time for copyright reasons. I'm not gonna be playing the melody when we do a playthrough for copyright reasons, but you can't copyright chords, so we can at least look at these chords. Now, when we play the songs in this movable chord booklet, we first want to find our root notes, then figure out what chords go along with those root notes, and then play the song. All of the chords in the first line are on the fifth string, so let's find our root notes. We have a D on the fifth string, that's going to be at the fifth fret, we have an E for an E minor. That'll be at the seventh fret. And those are the only two notes you need to find, D and E, because we have D minors and E minors and then a D7 at the end of the line. So let's figure out what chords go with those root notes. We have a D minor on the fifth string. Now that's a fifth string, so that's gonna be a fifth string minor shape. And then for our E minor, we just need to move it up two frets to the seventh fret, play that same shape. So for most of this line, you're just going back and forth between D minors and E minors. At the end of the line, we have a D7, so the root is gonna be the same, but you have to switch to your third finger because of this chord shape. We're using our fifth string dominant seven shape to play that D7. Not a bad idea to just play all those chords, cycle through them just to get used to playing them. And then let's look at the second line. We only have two chords. We have a G minor on the sixth string, so we need to find our G on the sixth string. That's gonna be at the third fret. And then we have an A7 on the sixth string. That'll be at the fifth fret. Now the G minor at the, on the sixth string, that'll be with the sixth string minor shape. And then the A7, which is also on the sixth string, we'll be using the sixth string dominant seven shape. And again, practice going back and forth between those chords. Just to get used to that movement. Line three is almost the same as line one. We have a bunch of D minors and E minors. Watch out at the end of this line though, we have a C7 instead of a D7. So that C is going to be with the root on the fifth string at the third fret. And that'll be the same shape we use for the D7, that fifth string dominant seven shape. So instead of playing our D7 at the end, like we did at the end of the first line, we're gonna play a C7, two frets lower, at the end of the third line. And then in the fourth line, we have an F on the sixth string, F major. So we need to find our F on string six, that's way down at the first fret. Then we're going to have a sixth string A7, so our A on the sixth string is back at the fifth fret. We already played this A7 earlier in the song. And then it ends on a D minor like it begins. That's gonna be at the fifth fret, and this is on the fifth string. So we have F, A, D. Those are our root notes, and put chords to those. That F is with the root on the sixth string, so we use our sixth string major shape. The A7 is the same A7 we played in the second line. That's at the fifth fret on the sixth string, using our sixth string dominant seven shape. And then the D minor we've been playing all the way through this song on the fifth string using the fifth string minor shape. Now that we've figured out where we're gonna play all these chords and what shapes we're gonna play, we play through the song. And you can play whatever speed you like, whatever pattern you like, as long as it fits into 4-4 four, four time. The point here is not to play fast, it's just to find these chords. And again, I'm not going to play the melody over this one for copyright reasons. I'll just bang through the chords. One, two, three, four. D minor, E minor. D7, G7. 
G minor, A7, D minors, E minors, C7, F, A7, and D minor. Your assignment is to practice slumber time on page 7 and to continue memorizing the notes on strings 5 and 6 as needed. I've got a couple videos that'll help you learn the fretboard. I'll leave links for those in the description. Also in the description, you'll find a link to the free first movable guitar chords booklet. Once you're comfortable with this music, I'll see you at the bottom of page 7. We're going to look at the chords for Go Tell It on the Mountain. 